Yeah, welcome to this video. It's uh, the 4th of December and on the 15th we'll release the new version of 18.12, so the December release. This is the video how to update uh, everything, but I wanted to make it a little bit challenging for me and I've put on the 18.10 version. So I was just joking, of course, it's not about challenges, it's about learning. So maybe we get um, into things, trouble and learn and see how to solve it because one of the YouTube YouTubers or comments on YouTube was that um, people get the feeling that they get a grasp on their uh, operating system and that's exactly what I want to achieve that's you being in control and knowing what to do with when something hits you when you see something hey it doesn't work there's always a solution knowledge is power okay so we have installed Adic Linux 18.10 on a virtual box and Pamac is complaining and say, hey, you have about two months updates worth waiting for you. Okay, so download size and all that. Let's keep uh, inside our terminal and press Ctrl T and maybe also change the wallpaper since that is the boot up wallpaper and this is already from Variety. So we have something new. 18.10.4 Okay, what aliases did we have back then? Because aliases change. And an alias is, is inside bash RC. So if you go to Tunar, nothing shows up. But if you go to View, Show Hidden Files, or Remember Control H, everything shows up. Bash RC is what is very important for the terminal. It's going to check out what aliases have you created and which one can I use. So back then, there were less uh, well, for instance, this one, mirror, less aliases. But we did have already KC, so kill the conky, and scale function as well. Okay, fine. Good to know that. So, let's put you here, my friends. We're probably needing you later on. So, this guy here. Update. Does that still, or is that existing? Yes. It does exist. Update works, and we get everything in. Bunch of software, 837 megabytes. So I guess I'll have to pause the video, but everything is going to be uh, installed. Now, if, 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 if I would have a problem, I would type mirror. So I get best and fastest server around. But in this case, everything just went smooth. You see, everything is here. The speeds are okay, could be better. There are sometimes uh, numbers like 20, but it's okay, and um, it's it's topping off at 9, it seems, at speed, so that's super. So let's wait for uh, this uh, to download and install. All right, everything just installed. Just to show you again, here they are. Everything is installed. And last thing is PKSYUA. And that's the first part is part for so update is Arch Linux and Arch Linux and PKSYUA is all AOR. If the first of course was successful, then you only get inside AOR stuff. So let that thing do its work. It's way down here. So if you press spacebar, you can scroll up. Spacebar, you're back at the end. So you, that's an, a nice little trick to know. He's doing his thing. Bye. Now, what changed? A lot of things changed, um, probably, right? This is a new install system. So what I do is go to File System, go to ETC, and one of the most important files there are is the scale. So take it with you, drag it along, so it becomes a shortcut, okay? So in here, if we don't have Control H, then it's this and say, Eric, what are you doing? No, Control H. And then you have something inside there. It's all with the dots, and the dots means it's hidden away. Even the folders are hidden away. A lot of things have been changed in here, but there are never going to be overwritten in here. This is your thing. This is home, Eric. This is your home folder. There is a command, and there is a way to overwrite anything that's in here to the other place, right? Now, we're never going to overwrite your, your Word documents or your music or your videos. We're all only going to overwrite the things that are 
important to your content configuration and so on and so on. Those things will be overwritten. We have a command for that. We can, of course, control C, control V, you know the drill, but there is a simple thing to do it. And it's an alias and the alias is called scale. Copy minus R R F ETC scale everything to my home directory. That's what it says. So why not use something convenient like that? Done. You didn't see it. You didn't move. No picture, no window that says, hey, I'm moving all these files. It's just quickly, super, super fast. It's done. Sometimes you see this thing move a little bit, twitch a little bit. It's that fast. So everything from the scale is now in here. Lots of things have changed. And one of the things is the bash RC, which is the most important reflex you should have after a scale. Did we get more aliases? Because that's fun. All these aliases make your life simple. We compare two of them, the bash RC and the one we create. This is the one we have created in the newer packages. This is the one from October. Okay, so this one is from December. So what changed? Right mouse click, go to compare. Sometimes if you're on Oracle Linux D or Oracle Linux B, what you don't have this option, doesn't work this option. That means that you need to install melt. Melt is from now on, on any Oracle Linux B version. It's gonna be there, right? Because we need it, we need it to, to work. Pajor C, Pajor C latest. Compare, it's already open, Eric. Go for it here. All right, let's see how done upload or download goes here. Still working at it. Fine, do your thing. Double click. So, Pajor C latest to the right, new version December to the left, old version October. What did we write? What did we improve? Create a file called Bash RC Personal. Since we're overwriting always everything, Bash RC, Bash RC Latest, why not add a Bash RC Personal? Put everything you want to keep after a scale in there and say, I want to have uh, my own alias. I have been creative and I created an own, uh, my own alias line like this. Then write or make make yourself a bash rc personal we will not make it for you you should create a file called dot bash rc personal in the home directory put anything in there you like and it will never be overwritten and now it will be used i've copy pasted it from the right to the left it's not saved yet okay i know but it's gonna be what else we've created the backup scale and the backup scale is there to compare one scale with the other. Before you update, you do a backup scale. It's version one, then you update, lots of things change. Then you do another backup scale and that's backup scale two. And then you again compare with melt. What's the difference between the first scale and the second scale? Before update, after update. And you see all the difference we've changed in in seconds, literally under a minute time, you'll know that file, that file, this changed, that changed. Super easy. So that's an interesting thing, the backup scale. If you want to analyze more, if you want to get technical, if you want to learn. CB is what we're doing actually now. CB is easy, copy, bash. Copy the bash RC latest to the bash RC. And what's more, it's going to load it up again. It's going to load everything that's new. So all everything that's green that moves to here will be loaded, will be working. And instantly, you don't need to log out, log on, or shut down and restart. CB does that for you. So also a neat little thing. In two months time, we've done some things. Sometimes we had this problem installing stuff and that we had uh, no um, no admission no, and we had no control over it and yay skip and tries and skip tries to solve that microcode is a way to see all these vulnerabilities the cpu has the issues with the microcode well you see a nice little list of all the problems you have edit 
a few weeks ago, uh, it started happening that in Belgium, on my computer, in my neighborhood, the Arch Linux servers that I got were not responding slow and all that. You've seen it in the videos. Well, I've created a new set of mirrors. This is still called mirror, but it's more verbose. It means it has more words to it. You just have to run it to see it. But basically, it's, it gives us a fastest and the latest 30. And this one is the latest 50, the number 20, with delay. The D from delay, score, the S from score, and A from H. So it's a different kind of ordering. It still gets all the servers, but E orders them differently. So if you have a problem, choose one of the four until you have uh, solved the problem. Then uh, sometimes you need to safeguard your videos. On YouTube, you want to download the video. There is this long code uh, of information you need to remember. You figure it out and a month later, you've forgotten it already again, but you have to figure it out again. That's what aliases are for. Stuff that you figured out, put it in alias, use it later and that's all in regards to audio youtube audio and this is for the video okay and then this one is rip which is quite interesting it shows you all the packages that you have recently installed so if you say my my system is not working anymore or something is is off what did i install the last 50 I think we take how many do we take 100 okay the last 100 packages and the last one the most recent one is the last one in the list and you go up in time and see what did we install what was upgraded and then you say that's the package that maybe we should downgrade to solve something so sounds all good all new aliases and then editor nano in this case it can go we've solved that it's written everywhere else so he'll know editor is nano and now files are identical so the version to the left was the one from october and this one is the one from december so we're up to speed the only thing we need have to do is close here i always do that you can of course control s but when you close it says okay haven't changed anything here that's a good test that per accident you have changed something to the right which is unintentional and this one needs to be saved done so i have now a new bash rc but next week there will be coming a new update and you do a scale again the scale that's in here is the recent one these two guys are the same okay but the guy that in etc scale here is not the same so what i'll do to avoid having back my own system is control C here go inside scale this is the old version from December control A delete control V so I'm copy pasting my new content also there so next time when I do a scale I'll get the content this content is now from this day and age for December okay now to avoid all that, because that was also quite a lot of work to do that all the time, I said, let's make a new kind of alias. And that's this um, copy bash. So if you do a scale, what happens, everything from etc scale goes to your own directory. This one is always going to be the latest one. And all I need to do is copy the latest one, this one, over to that one. And up to date, right? And that's this copy bash. You never need to go to etc scale again, what I just did, and copy paste it in there. You have now an up to date system. You can start typing YouTube things, remember? And the rip thingy, all new things. Aha, thanks for, thanks for trying that, Eric. So, of course, you figured it out by yourself. sudo pacman minus s xpack. You need to install it. It's an application that is trying to run and it's not there. So, rip. 
Last thing I installed is XPack. Hey, good from him. Too. He knows. Triton surfing, meaning this thing is still running. No. So this is the last thing I've done. It's so accurate. Triton, Triton, surfing icon, surfing icon, and so on. Right. So you see, go back in time. What were the packages I installed, and when did the issue? Uh, become apparent and then say okay might be this package might be that package and you start analyzing so this is my system all up to date thinking about uh, things yes uh, one thing is different from the 18.12 and let's show you guys so I'm on the 18.10 and I want to go to the 18.12 exactly then you need to uninstall Samba because Samba is, is installed but probably not working. Status of Samba. Yes. SMB. That's always a question. Is it was it Samba again or SMB? SMB service. There you go. Okay, he is active and it is loaded, good for him, but I'm sure if we reboot, because we did all the updates here, it's not going to work anymore, because there were some updates, some changes in Samba. So if you want to keep Samba, fine, there are tutorials on Arch Linux, but if you will say, yes, I want to keep exactly the same as you guys on 18.12, I want to keep, stay rolling, then we have this nice little folder, stay rolling from 18.11 to 18.12, I know we are on the 18.10, but it's the same, right? It's delete all Samba related servers and apps, and we had this error a few weeks ago. That's why it says error message, you'll see. Anyway, if you want to say, yeah, I'm all for a slower, not a slower, a faster system, because, well, one service less to run is, okay, a little bit memory, a little bit CPU less, but it's not that a big of an impact. But if you want to just say, all right, I want to be exactly the same, then you need to do this guy. So he's going to shut down some services. Like I said, it's going to be not a big impact, but it's 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 it's, it's gone, right? It's removed and lots of packages go away, but not that many. I mean, 73 megabyte. What's that these days? And this one as well. So, voila, done. So we have no Samba anymore. If we reboot, there will be no Samba status there that you saw will not be active. That's one thing. And then the last thing is a kind of special thing. I'd like to um, point you to stay rolling version eight. And what is this? It's about how to build an Arch Linux and Arco Linux ISO. Remember phase six, bound to start sometime, but not 2018 for sure. And we figured out that, well, we know of course we want to keep rolling and everything that you put on an Arch ISO and not in a package is never, you can never manage it. So this is probably one of the last uh, changes of going from static files on an Arch ISO to a package file. And that's, that's exactly what's, if you look into it, exactly what it does. It deletes files, it makes sure that you get the latest package in, update, latest package in, and then if that's done, scale and all that, if you know I have, you have the latest package, then it deletes and it, the files that are on your system that we put on the Arch ISO. So never in a package, never manageable by Pacman. We delete them one by one. And in the end we say, okay, let's put all the same files that we deleted in a package. So we install the package with containing all the files we've deleted up here. And this means we are even more rolling than we were before. And we can manage those files. We can just say, okay, an update, oh, come. And everything will just be managed through an update. 
So that's a neat little thing to become even more rolling and to be managing your computers from remote, basically. So everything is checked again. See, making sure you're up to date, making sure that Arch Linux bin kit is there. Um, so if you do a scale, just to show you, whoops, that's a nice typo. Then there is no version coming here, version nine or anything. So this is the last version, version eight. So we're sure about that. So everything is deleted. And in the end, very end here, system config kit is installed. And that's it. That's all you need to do, I think. Um, let me pause and, and check it. There's already one thing I could mention. We're not going to do it, but we could mention it in the same folder. So we were in stay rolling, but one up. There's, of course, this nice little gun. So that's the new one from this month. But there's also here, if you do want to have Samba, again, for some reason, then you have to run this one and that one and you're up and running again. So it's it just takes, I mean, 30 seconds and you have Samba again. Just know it's here. Okay. Um, thinking of anything else. Okay, one of the aliases, we were talking about um, YouTube downloader, right? An alias will never work if the application is not installed. So gladly, I remember that that's not the case. So if you trying, if you want to say, okay, I'll, I'll test this little thing out. What does this thing do? It's a video of, the, of it, of course. So this alias is using an application like the X pack we had to download. It's the same we have to do here. We have to install this software package. Otherwise, the alias will never work. So that's also something you need to do. So two extra software installations. Let me think again. I think one of the things I should point you as well to is the Arch Linux. Hello, continue, continue. And then point out that, well, there's no release article yet, but point out also to the beta pages. So if you ever want to know what things changed, everything is written in here, our beta testers, Bible, let's say, and all the things that we've changed are, are in here. So we always can see it again. I'm not going to show you the Conky Aureola Lazoli. This is just a video about how to keep rolling, how to update the system to 18.12, but you can check all these out, so find the icons. So in this way, I can also see the things and explanation about the Samba error, about um, what, what I forgot maybe to tell you, but this is containing everything. TLP is as well out indeed. So if you want to keep rolling exactly as 18.12, um, now TLP is if you don't have a laptop, well, you can just disable it, right? Because this is for batteries. And this, if you type pseudo system CTL disable, TLP service, it's gone. As simple as that. And you can always remove it with minus R TLP and that will be gone. So that's also something you can do to keep exactly 100% rolling. Here is the X pack and here is the YouTube downloader. So we need to install those two. This is all done when updating. So this was the old look suddenly. And this was our previous look. This was suddenly after an update, this look. And I said, okay, no. And we created our own Arco style. That all happens when you update the Saturdays. And that's 11.2. Well, you can go further, but that's basically what you do when you have a nice wallpaper to stop. Thanks for IT. That's this little button down here. You can choose your wallpaper and do some preferences here. Anything you like, you can disable it. Anything's possible. This is Arca Linux people. Enjoy our system.